Beloved, September 28, 2019, I was let to know that only the truth is what should come out from our lips, that your preachings or speeches or your teachings be all in the maximum expression of light and truth, thus the power of the Holy Spirit and the commission of exalted angels and the presence of the Son and the Father will assist in our meetings and thus the truth seed will be implanted in the heart. I was allowed to know that we must not waste our time on criticism or anything that interferes with our duty. The road is more narrow now and will continue to shrink and we will see many loved ones and acquaintances left behind. If we love our salvation, we must not hesitate. We are now in Adam's trial. When Eve fell, he for love of her, with all conscience, consented to suffer the same fate. And this has been the most horrendous and cruel story that the universe has experienced. If Adam had remained faithful, the story would have been very different. Ask for discernment from on high and seek the Lord your God from your heart and your understanding will be opened and thus you will be able to be delivered from the great affliction. Seek everything noble, everything pure, everything true and in this think. I was let known that the closer we get to the divine standard, the more attack you will have and the more alone you will be. Accused by family and friends of deranged fanatics and despised even by the children, their north should always be to look to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. It was let me known that each family was a loan for each other in order to avoid human selfishness, but salvation is individual. Try to give the right touch to it with voice and example, and guide its way in the ancient path. No one will be able to see the Lord without holiness. Extreme suffering will come in this hour. I was led to know, because decisions of great height are being taken. Some prepare their lives for the side of rebellion and tyranny, and others walk the path of suffering and hardship. If your eye causes you to fall, take it out, and if your hand cut it off, so my people who seek my face must do. God cannot be mocked. I have not come to bring peace but a sword, because he who suckled from his mother's breast will seek her destruction, and he who ate from his father's hand will hate him. Seek strength in me. Do not take your eyes off either to the right or to the left, because great affliction I announce to you today. The illegitimate will become legitimate, and within the home the conflict will be extreme because each side will have its place. The husband will hate the wife and the wife the husband because out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks betrayal and brokenness will solidify in the hearts of many but loyalty and life in that of others and how can two walk together if they are not in common agreement although your love is great and increases even more Suspicion and contempt will increase in them, so you will know who enthrones their hearts. There is no true love without obedience, because by their fruits you will know them. Because whoever imitates me will be hated, and whoever expounds my words will be sold for the price of his life. But if they did all these things, with the green tree, what will it be with the dry branches? Will children's love for parents save them? And he answered, no. 
Will parents' love for children lead them to salvation? No, in no way, he said. Can husbands save each other and can man save their congregations? Never, he answered. Woe to the man who trusts in man. Let each one raise his head and see that his redemption is near. Only loyalty to the law and to the testimonies will be your safeguard. Look for my sayings, my laws, and my statutes. Look for me while I am still near, because days will come. When you will look for me and you will not find me, you will call me and I will not go because time is finished. To the one you seek good will despise you. Is your heart safeguarded in me? Keep it in me and those you will find rest for your soul. Do not remove the cornerstone from yourselves because you will perish. The struggle of the family balsam is the saddest. It is the same that was lived in heaven with Lucifer. But the norm was not lowered because it cannot be lowered and experience peace. And Michael fought with his angels against Lucifer and his angels and they did not prevail, and were thrown out from heaven. Remember Cain and Abel. This Cain killed Abel, and this Cain was banished from his family, so that harmony would prevail in it. Love casts out fear, and evil is not happy besides love, nor love besides evil. How then do you fight? To have them together. These are lovers of themselves more than of God and will not have part in the coming kingdom. Put your strength in what is profitable for you. Take courage. Because truly I tell you that there will be no one without a family in the renewed earth because they will build and plant vineyards and eat from them and peace Justice, love, and truth will be forever and ever. The enemy plunders and destroys. But I have come to bring life and peace. But while you are in this world, you will have affliction. But trust, because I have conquered the world, comfort your heart in this. Because here I come soon. Retain what you have so that no one takes your crown. Faithful and true words of the Lord that I share with each one of you. May the Lord bless you all.